Okay, good morning class. So at this point, uh, the first half of the lesson we looked at, uh, we wrapped up um, our equations and inequalities. Now we're going to look at and start our topic on geometry. As I told you, we are a couple of weeks behind. Okay, so at this point we should have started trigonometry already and well into that section of, of trigonometry. Right, so geometry is the extension of your grade 8 and 9 geometry. Okay, so just let's um, refresh our memory what geometry entailed. Firstly, we know that angles on a straight line adds up to 180 and the reason. Every statement should have a reason. Okay. When you're using these theorems. So A plus B is equal to 180 or B is equal to 180 minus A. There's angles on a straight line. A is equal to B. Why? They are vertically opposite. There. Also, C, um, A is equal to B and B is equal to C. Is that the C there? Okay. Uh, reason is vertically opposite angles. Then we know that A plus B plus C plus D adds up to 360. It's either revolution or we can say angles around the point. Then we know in uh, number 3 is that angle A plus angle B plus angle C adds up to 180. The reason there is sum of triangles or interior angles of a triangle equals 180 degrees. Number 4, we know that C1 is equal to the sum of A and B. C1 is equal to angle A plus angle B. Why? Exterior angle equals the sum of the interior opposite angles. Or you can write it in the short notation, the exterior angle of triangle. Okay? Number five, we speak about isosceles triangles, but when we do isosceles triangles, it's one of two. It's either angles opposite, equal, equal sides. sides, or sides opposite, equal angles. We don't use the word isosceles. Okay? It's either angles opposite equal sides or sides opposite equal angles. Alright. Then, an equilateral triangle <coughs> is where all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. So if you've got three angles that adds up to 180, each angle is then going to be 60 degrees. Not so. <coughs> and if lines are parallel, we know we can use these uh, three um, theorems here. Or, um, the, the first one being angle 1 is equal to angle 5 for corresponding angles yeah, is basically the F so that angle 1 and angle 5 angle 3 and 7 that F is lying this way not so angle 4 and 8 that F is lying that way and 2 and 6. And F is 9. Yeah. Okay? Then, your co interior angles, those lines are parallel. We know that that angle plus that angle adds up to 180. And you co interiorly, so your U is lying that way, 5 plus 3, or angle 4 plus angle. 6 is equal to 1. Also, as you go interior there, so corresponding angles are equal, co interior angles are supplementary, and of course, the N, the alternate angles are again equal, or the Z, fuzz angles, or fun angles, angle 3 is equal to angle 6, and angle 4 is equal to angle 5, the Z going in that direction. Okay. Any confusion there? So let's do some uh, geometry revision. We go to worksheet 10a. Okay, you see there's three sums there? I want you to do those three quickly, okay.
So this basically uh, gives you a revision of your, your previous year's work, okay? I'll pause the video at this point. Okay, the bell is going to ring in a couple of minutes' time. So let's just wrap this up quickly. So uh, number one, what do you need to do first here? What's going to happen here? Sorry? Angles up. So we must first say that x is equal to y. The reason? Angles opposite equal sides. If you leave that out, you're going to do some more. Okay? So now I know that y is the same as x. So 2x, or x plus this angle, which is also x plus 100, is equal to 180. Or I could have said 2y plus 100 is 180. Reason? Sum of triangles in this triangle, ABC. You don't have to say that. So then 2x is equal to 180 minus 100 which is 80 divided by 2 is 40 degrees. Okay, you guys agree with that? Let's look at number 2, which is also equal to 1. Yeah? No reason required, because I've already gave given the, the reason there. Okay. Let's look at number 2. What do you say about number 2? x is equal to 60 degrees. Why is x 60? Angles opposite equal sides. Okay, so there is 60 degrees. Now what? You can work out y. So y is equal to 60, 180 minus 60 minus 60, which is? 60 degrees. Reason? Sum of triangles. So this triangle? A, B, C. Are you going to calculate Z? Angle from the statement. So Z plus 60 equals 180. So Z is equal to 120. So angles on the statement. Okay. Look at number three quickly. You guys done number three? Yes, okay. So let's look at number three. So these lengths are equal. So T and, and, and X is the same. Okay. That's the same as well. So what can be worked out at this point? T as Z. Not so? So Z is equal to 40 degrees. Why? Angles opposite equal sides. This is 40. Now what can be worked out? You can see that that's your exterior angle. Of your time. attention, please. Not so? 11B, can you please report so to the sports field for your annual lesson? 11B, report to the sports field for your annual lesson with Mr. Carruthers. Why? 30 plus T is equal to 40 plus 40. Why? Exterior angle of triangle. And is the triangle PCD. Again, you don't have to say that. You all with me? So T is equal to 80 minus 30, which is? 50 degrees. Now what? You can say that x is 50. Guys, x 50. Angle to opposite equal sides. So I calculate why? We did angle to the time. So why? Plus 50 plus 50 equals 180. Why? 
sum of triangles and it's triangle BAD. So therefore Y is going to give you 180 minus 100 which is 80 degrees. Okay. Any confusion here? No. For homework I want you guys to do 10B for tomorrow. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your day, people. Good morning, class.